Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Mobile 12. I know it's a pretty big surprise that all of a sudden there's something on the board, but don't worry, we'll go through this systematically. For this video, I'll be discussing aromaticity. You know, that's a really big topic um, that a lot of people have difficulties with, okay? So I'll do my best to explain the concepts behind it and then go, and I think the best way to learn aromaticity um, is by going through a bunch of practice problems. And so that's what I intend on doing, okay? So let's go through this, okay? So there's a few things you need to know. There are two categories when dealing with, arom you know, in, in determining if something's aromatic or not. The first thing is to, when you're dealing with this, with these types of problems, right? And we'll look at the most famous, so to speak, compound that deals with aromatic, aromaticity, is the benzene ring, okay? Benzene. Okay. So, the first thing you want to do, you're presented a molecule, and your professor asks you, um, "What is it? Is this aromatic or not?" First thing you want to do is check to see if every atom in the ring has sp2 hybridization. Okay. So let's go through that whole step. Sp2, sp2, sp2. Right? Because there's one H here. So you guys should be really comfortable with labeling this. Uh, labeling things sp2 okay right so if you have three th uh, three things attached to central atom it's sp2 if you have four things attached to the central atom it's sp3 so on and so forth you guys should get the drift so you to the central atom right here that's part of the ring it has an h attached here it has a carbon here it has another carbon here so it's sp2 hybrid hybridized okay so the first thing you want to do, check the hybridization of each atom in the ring. So in this case, we have this benzene ring. Everything is sp2 hybridized. So automatically, we forget about this category here, non-aromatic, okay? We move to this, ca this category here, aromatic slash anti-aromatic. Now, we have to break it down to see whether or not it is aromatic or anti-aromatic okay so there's three things you could label a molecule presented to you by your professor you can label it non or aromatic anti-aromatic or aromatic if it's aromatic it will follow this rule 4n plus 2 pi and this whole thing is 4n 4n rule and 4n plus 2 pi electrons is Huckel's rule okay Huckel's okay so once you determine everything's sp2 hybrid, hybridized, you move on to this category here. Right away, you start to see, you try to figure out whether it falls under this category or this category. And how we do that is, okay, you have to count the amount of pi electrons, the electrons that are in the p orbital, so the double bonds. So we have two here, so there's two electrons, two, four, six, okay? So what we do is we set that value equal to each one of these formulas. So I would say 4n plus 2 pi electrons is equal to 6, right? And 4n, oh, excuse me, is equal to 6, okay? Basic algebra, algebra, solve for, solve for n, okay? See if you could find, see if you could plug in a value, a whole value, not a decimal, not like 1.5, 1.2, anybody can do that. I mean a whole number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can plug in one of those types of values into n, where it equals 6. So let's see. If you plug in 0 for n, right, it will be 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 2 equals 2. So 2 does not equal 6, so that won't work. Can we plug in 1? So it will be 4 times 1 plus 2, which equals 6. So there you go. We are able to plug in a number here that will give us a value of 6. And this, again, is the formula to determine if something's aromatic. So this benzene ring is aromatic. Okay? So let's try with this one. Just in, even though we know it's aromatic, let's see if this works. If we plug in 0, 0 does not equal 6. If we plug in 1, 4 does not equal 6. If we plug in 2, 8 does not equal 6, okay? You cannot have a decimal for n. It has to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, whole numbers like that. And so, therefore, this benzene ring is uh, considered aromatic. Let's look at another example, again. 
let's check it out okay so let's just say we have this compound this molecule here is this aromatic or anti-aromatic or non-aromatic okay so again let's go through the whole the, the first step again identify the hybridization of each atom in the ring okay we're dealing with rings if it's not a ring automatically it's it's not non it, these rules do not apply to it okay so we're only dealing with rings okay so that's sp2 excuse me, yeah sp2 hybridized that's sp2 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 oh look at this this is sp3 if you have any type of sp3 hybridized uh atoms inside your ring automatically you say it's non-aromatic so this molecule what do we need to go through this category here we were able to identify an sp3 and an sp3 non-aromatic okay but there's an exception to that rule okay and i'll talk about that exception okay but overall non-aromatic okay let's look at another example let's say we have this five-membered ring we have a double bond here double bond here and we have a lone pair here with a negative charge okay again first step identify the carbons or the atoms inside the ring is it sp2 sp3 sp2 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 and right here this is where the confusion occurs okay a lot of people would say this is sp3 or something like that and in this case this is where the, it kind of gets tricky okay people would assume right away that this is not aromatic okay here's the rule if you could identify a carbon if you could identify an atom that's sp2 hybridized right and it's attached to another atom and it has a lone pair on it that atom here is also sp2 hybridized okay so again if this atom here if you could identify an sp2 hybridized atom attached to another atom with lone pairs that atom with lone pairs is also sp2 hybridized so therefore all the atoms inside the string is considered sp2 so automatically this category is wrong we move on to this category again i'm going to re i'm going to restate that statement one more time if you have an atom okay this atom is sp2 we can look at it from this side or we can look at it from this side sp2 if you have an atom that's sp2 hybridized and it's attached to an atom with a lone pair that atom is also sp2 hybridized okay so we can also look from this section here so therefore if everything in this this molecule is sp2 we can go on to this section here first we need to count two four six so there's six pi electrons six is equal to four n plus two pi electrons and four n is equal to six right from our previous example we know that if you have six it's, it's aromatic because benzene ring has six the benzene ring so therefore this comp this molecule here is also aromatic okay so when you have lone pairs be careful okay so sp2 hybridized this atom right here okay so there's another example let's look at a few more